Oh my God, what is that? I saw this news story the other day about the world's first braille porn book, and it got me thinking about blind people and sex. <laughs> Of course, sex isn't just about what you see. It's about touch, taste, smell. I went straight for the pictures. Is that what sighted people do as well? <laughs> I Googled blind porn and all I could find was lots of really objectifying stuff about visually impaired people. Is he giving himself oral, oral pleasure here? So it got me wondering, how is sex different if you're blind? And what do blind people do for porn? <laughs> Hi, Nina. Hello. So, Nina, you created the world's first braille porn, right? How did you come up with that? There is a blind library here in Stockholm, and all they could rent was, like, cooking books and stuff like that. So I just figured that they are very excluded. I'm really intrigued to see the book. Is it quite explicit? Well, there is, for example, pictures of bondage, like weird fantasies or not so weird, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like it could be my sort of book. Something for everybody, yeah. This is Amelia Cavallo. She's an actress, a musician, an aerialist, and oh yeah, she's blind. So when people see you do aerial work, are they surprised when they find out that you're blind? Yeah, I mean, to look at me now, you wouldn't know necessarily, so yeah, it is always a shock. I'm kind of interested in how sex is for blind people, but I Googled it and lots of really kind of objectifying stuff came up that kind of fetishized people with disability. Yeah. I don't know, I wonder how you feel about that, actually. There's a overarching assumption that with disability that disabled people don't, can't, or shouldn't have sex. That's Think, not very good, is it? No, it's a bit crap, really. Um, <laughs> and so things like porn isn't really geared toward disabled people. Mm -hmm. And so there isn't really any blind porn that I know of. I mean, a Playboy writes their their magazines in Braille, but you only get the articles and everybody wants the pictures. You know, OK. So. <laughs> Amelia confirmed my hunch that there wasn't much out there for blind people in the way of sexual stimuli. So I wanted to get a group of people together to see if Nina's book could be the answer. I'm blind, but I think I'm still sexy. I'm very, very sexy active. Got a really sexy voice. I'm a very happy person. <laughs> I'm 65 and still sexy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, welcome to the world's first Braille Porn Book Club. Mm. <laughs> Mike's like a really stupid question, but what do you do for porn? I keep hearing this, ah, oh, oh, this kind of sound. And no, I just think it's very, very sexy. And, uh, and the, the next moment, the baby is born. <laughs> that's, that's kind of how it happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. I find it really boring yeah. because it's all visual. And then it's just like, yeah. are they having sex or are they chopping vegetables? Yeah. Exactly. I don't know if people, you know, here use audio description and that can ruin the moment for me i mean yeah. when, when you've got you know a man and a woman and she's saying fuck me baby and she he fucks her you know <laughs> <laughs> do you want to check out some braille porn yeah yeah, yeah. 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 have you guys ever felt braille porn before no, no. this no. is the first there, there's a, a slight problem here that i can foresee and that is with with braille i mean i read with two hands and, and, and he's worried he wouldn't have any hands to jerk off with. <laughs> That's yeah. a lady part, yes. special part. Yes. And there's a glitters in there. That is... <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yes. That's yeah. lovely, isn't okay. it? I think I found an erect penis on somebody laying down. Look at you. There are three people here. Have a look. Oh, I think that's, that's a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're wearing a rabbit mask. Did find a penis and that was quite exciting. All I've found so far is fucking penises because that's the only thing I can make out. Uh, probably because I've got one and I know what it looks like. It could just as easily be a bloody map of China. I think there's um, a picture of a woman and she's wearing uh, something like a mask on her face or something like that. By the looks of things she might be a bit of a dominatrix. I think a man or a woman's pleasure in her. <laughs> <laughs> it's very boring for me. It's not really turning you it's on. It's not though. turning me on okay. at all. Well, it's turning not... me off actually. Okay, well we do we don't want to do that though. I genuinely don't think this would work for me. This wouldn't work for me 
at all. I think it's a novelty. There's something ridiculous about it. So for me, it doesn't translate. Depends how horny you are, doesn't it? I suppose, and how desperate, yeah. Well, we can leave you a coffee for you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> is that sexy? Yeah, it is a bit. To be yeah. Fair. Okay, so you could imagine yourself using this then? Uh, yeah, yeah, I probably could. Well, you probably could do with an extra pair of hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you kind of spend time to discover it, it is like the curtain being revealed really slowly. Okay. So, because the thing I think with porn images, you get it all immediately and it's just mm. like in your face. Whereas with this, you have to spend time with it and go, ooh, that's a foot, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, so I think there's a mindset that probably would help with it as well. Braille porn is a really good start, but I think visually impaired people need better erotica. And you'd have to be blind not to see that.